Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dan, as ever I am the IT Geek. Welcome back to another episode uh, on my channel. And again, this is very much in line with, towards the end of the year, try to share some of the tips and things that worked for me when I was doing, when I started off in my YouTube. And as I've gone along this YouTube journey, what's worked for me to essentially help me grow my channel to almost 60,000 subscribers. Uh, and the reason I'm doing this is not to brag, right? I'm just doing it because I get a lot of questions about it. Um, so I think, you know what, why not? do custom videos around what's worked for me. Essentially, I just want to help people. It's just me trying to help people who are content creators um, might feel like they're struggling. I, I struggled at the start, but then I spent a lot of time researching and investing. So that brings me to the next thing I want to talk about, investing in your equipment that I talked about last episode, but also in the software that you use and investing in, in other aspects of your content creation. So I'll give you an example. The first thing I invested in, so my, my content is around Microsoft Cloud, Azure uh, Infrastructure Service, AVD. These are all things that I invested in from a subscription perspective. I bought um, uh, E5 subscription. Uh, I put, I kind of got a, 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 at the start, I started, uh, obviously I, I, put, I got an Azure subscription page ago and I invested in um, my content creation. So I would, you know, videos that I did, AVD or whatever, I would, that was all on my own page ago subscription. Uh, and then I became a Microsoft MVP and I got a lot of help with that. But in the early years, I invested in it. I spent maybe a month, 150, pounds in that investment because again when I when I deployed things in Azure it used to cost I used to do a whole bunch of videos on it and then I used to get rid of them and, and try and keep my cost down but invest otherwise it's going to be difficult for you to show what you're doing what you're talking about um, so definitely invest in your sort of um, in your your YouTube videos right invest in what you're trying to show so like I said Azure and 365 for me I got subscriptions I got page go subscription and I invested that time and that money into it. The other thing is as well, invest, so I was talking about SEO optimization a little bit in the last video and how you can improve that. There's tools out there, but obviously they, they cost, right? So there's tools out there to help you with that. So I invested in something called BidIQ, it's a monthly subscription, and essentially that helps me optimize, it helps me create my titles, and it gives me my, you know, it helps, makes me assess my titles, helps me with my descriptions, and it helps me with my thumb, uh, thumbnail uh, creation as well. Um, so again, I, probably done that in the last year so again I've seen a bigger growth since I've started doing that and it helps me with the, the, these things that I, again I struggled with like my thumbnail um, creation my title and things like that so that's probably my next thing that, that I changed I started investing again it's pure money right I've been lucky enough to start earning from YouTube as I mentioned last episode I reinvest that into these sort of things these subscriptions and things like that also becoming a Microsoft MVP has its benefits as well I won't go into that because probably NDA so I don't want to really go into details about that but like I said it's it becomes easier as you go along because there's things you can do to help so definitely definitely invest in especially in those early days especially if you're a young content creator once you get into tech content creation invest in things like an Azure subscription a lab invest in a, you know, a Microsoft 365 subscription these are going to help you you can then start doing demos and things like that um, so that's probably the, the next tidbit I wanted to give um, it's difficult, right? Because not everyone has the finances to do it. I understand that, but again, I'm explaining what works for me. I'm not saying you have to do this to become successful. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to, to that has helped me in, in my success. I've been able to show people what I'm talking about, not just do the slide decks, I've been able to do demos. Okay, so I kind of had to do a little cut there. Some random person walked in front of my, <laughs> walked in front of my video, but it's what it is. Um, so yeah, it's what I kind of finish off on there when it comes to. Um, inve I invested in, like I said, uh, software and tools like that, okay? So that's kind of what I wanted to do, uh, explaining that, this part of the video. Um, what I'll do is I'll put a, a, a link to um, VidIQ, which I use. I'll put a link to some like the subscriptions that I've used. And hopefully, again, that'll help you. Again, I know investment is, is difficult for people, you know, not everyone can afford it. I've been very fortunate uh, to be able to do that. So um, all those will be useful links in the description as well. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Until next time. Goodbye.